So on number nine, what we're hoping uh, is to, to answer three parts here about the probability they win two contracts and at least one and all that. So it says they feel like they've got a 60% chance of winning contract A. This stuff is the given. They've got a 30% chance of winning contract B. And given that it wins B, given that it wins B, the probability it wins A is 80%. Okay, so far so good. So question A says, what's the probability they win A and B? The probability they get A and B. Okay, well, the probability they win, they get A and B. I can actually use either formula for ands, but if I'll look at the formulas, the one that I need to use is the one with the conditional in it because I don't know or either. So I need to use the formula with the conditional in it. And so, and the conditional I want to use is this one because that's the conditional that I have. So there's the formula that I want to use. So the probability of A given B is 80%. The probability of B is 30%. The answer then is uh, 24%. All right, part B says, what's the probability it wins at least one of the contracts? Now, there's several ways of doing this, uh, but one way is A or B, right? So A or B is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus their intersection. And again, I'm, minus, I'm subtracting their intersection because I've counted it twice. So the probability of A is 60%. The probability of B is 30%. And subtracting the and is what I did back in part A. So the answer here should be 66%. They have a 66% chance of winning at least one contract. Finally, on part C, if the company wins B, what's the probability it won't win A? So what's the probability of not A given B? And this one is uh, not quite as, as complex as it might seem. Check out this part of the given. The probability it wins A if it wins B is 80%. So what's the probability it doesn't get A if it gets B? It's got to be 20%. And that's problem 